All right, so I reassessed the situation and realized that uh, I probably should tape off the doorways before I get going. You know, maybe I'm overthinking things, but I know that that's definitely one that I needed to take care of. So <laughs> I decided that, uh, you know, taping the doorways due to the overspray might be a good idea. Uh, I want to make sure I don't hit the ceiling. I want to keep the ceiling the color it is right now and not have to paint. See, I got my big old shield. <clears throat> I don't know where the handle went that it came with, which is probably a little bit nicer because it's lighter and a little shorter. I've got some things I can go improvise with, so. Here I've got my airless sprayer. Now, like I said, I've only sprayed cabinets with this thing. It's a Magnum. It's a Graco Magnum X5 True Airless. Now, I can tell you right now, the prep for spraying takes time, especially just getting the sprayer ready and then cleaning the sprayer so it doesn't clog on you. It's got to be, you know, for someone inexperienced, you know, a half an hour, 45 minutes just to figure out how to freaking clean the thing. Uh, but no more taking two hours to paint a freaking small ass bedroom. I'm telling you, that's, that's just a waste of my time. So I'll probably have all this sprayed in here in less than an hour. And this would have taken me probably a good three or four with the quality of paint I have. Now, if I had that really nice semi cloth latex, I could probably have all this painted in about two hours, three hours. So let me, let me, uh, say that with the quality paint I have right now, I'm looking at four or five hours. So with setup for my sprayer, that was about, oh, an hour. Spraying it, gosh, probably won't take long. So, and it's gonna look nicer is the big thing. It's not gonna have those big lines in it from the roller. So let's hope that uh, I'm successful. I might even take a crack at it tonight. Uh, it's got to be close to seven o'clock in the afternoon, but I got to get this done.